What the heck is that thing? That's exactly what scientists are trying to figure out. Cut back to October of last year. Scientists at, a, at an observatory in Hawaii saw this crazy object hurtling through our solar system. As of now, it's been labeled a interstellar object. Yeah, an interstellar object. It is the first interstellar object, as in it is the first thing from a different solar system entirely coming to us, but we don't really know what it is. At first, it was a comet, and now it's been reclassified as an asteroid. Some from Harvard have even said that it could be an alien probe of some sort. What's so weird about Oumuamua that we just can't figure it out and just say, oh, that's a, you know, an asteroid from blank part of the universe? Well, it goes back to that. Like, it's not observable as an asteroid or as a comet. And right. it's also traveling crazy fast. It like, it's ripping through our solar system at 196, 100,000 miles per hour. 196, 100,000? <laughs> I don't think that's how you say that number. I don't think, you, let's do it again. <laughs> It's traveling at 196,000 miles per hour. That's pretty fast. Which is really fast. It's, yeah. it's far too fast to be a normal thing that we observe in our solar system. So that's the clue that it's now categorized as an interstellar object. And right now, it's farther away from our sun than Jupiter and traveling at 70,000 miles per hour. And it's like charging towards the outskirts of the solar system. Right, so it's it's on its way out, but also the yeah. its whole trajectory and its speed is part of the reason that it's so confusing, right? Yes. Like we can't, like scientists are even having trouble maybe even explaining why it's going so fast. I mean, obviously the reason most things move anywhere in the galaxy is gravity. It's being pulled in some sort of way, but they were saying that gravity doesn't even necessarily explain it on its own. There's gotta yeah. be maybe some other factor yes. why it's flying through like an intergalactic surfboard. Exactly, and in this new Harvard paper, they do offer another idea, which is called solar radiation. And that's mm -hmm. the idea that photons from the sun are pushing it along. Earlier this year, Nature published a study saying um, that something that could be pushing along is this process called outgassing. There's jets of gaseous material being expelled from the surface of an object. Mm. Outgassing is often how comets rip through the sky. And we haven't really seen things ejected off of Oumuamua, but that doesn't mean that there's not small amounts of dust particles that are giving it like a little kick. But then within the paper, they sneak in this like very choice line. It says, alternatively, a more exotic scenario mm. is that Oumuamua may be a fully operational probe sent intentionally to Earth's vicinity by an alien civilization. So, I mean, that could explain why it's moving so fast and why it came from somewhere else and then came kinda close to Earth. Yes. Kinda close, Klondike kinda. Bar. The way it looks is also kind of confusing and unique, and that's yes. why scientists are gonna have to figure out what's going on with this thing. Because first of all, if you look at it, I mean, look at it right here, it is a fully elongated, looks like a cigar, uh, you know, someone who's not as mature as me might describe it as a turd. I think it looks like a turd. It looks like a turd, Yeah. really, I, it's mm -hmm. fully a turd. But yeah, it's, you know, like- It's 131 foot wide turds. Yeah. Crushing it through space. Yeah, and they say it could potentially be about a quarter mile long, and it's just flying, and it's flying in an interesting way. It's sort of doing this tumble, right? Exactly. And it, yeah, it's, it, it's kicks through space. Yeah, it's not like a bullet flying through space. It's doing like somebody who doesn't know how to throw a football through it real wonky. And it's also a reddish color, which they say that it is probably due to being irradiated by many different suns over the course of the last couple billion years. So. This thing is funky. It's yeah. not just a, like a brown asteroid that you're picturing in the asteroid belt or that you've seen in Star Wars. It's even weirder than weirder. you see in sci-fi. And it's awesome. It's really cool. Like I yeah. can't, I, like I love, I like, I like that this study came out because it's getting us talking about it in general. And also it's good to explore these different ideas. Yeah. You know, you put, as a scientist, you put an idea out there, you check it out and you cross it off the list. Yeah. But we don't have a lot of time to cross off the list because it's not going to be observable. Within. It's moving. It's moving. It's going to be out of our solar system in like four years. Interstellar object. Cooler Maybe. than the movie Interstellar, which two thumbs down. You didn't like Interstellar? Too long. Too long. Yeah, that's fair. I bet Matthew McConaughey would heckin' love Oh Muamua. <laughs> I feel like it's so chill for him. It is chill. Oh Muamua.